This is an amazing time to be in technology, especially software development. There are cloud native applications, microservices, the cloud is booming, you have so many more options. There was a time when taking infrastructure could take weeks and months. But now, the infrastructure is just readily available, you really need a few minutes and you can have an application just running somewhere. Geographically, anywhere in the globe actually. So what is the gap? Well, the whole deployment model has been simplified, but the debugging model has been made complicated. There was a time when you could hire a person and say, okay, we got one application that's really two services running on two boxes, and you hire one person and that person knows in and out what's happening in there. That's not the case anymore. So the industry has moved towards DevOps. DevOps is really a way to scale the model along with how technology is scaling. The developers who code actually operate the application, DevOps. However, what I've seen is DevOps has usually been put to writing Jenkins code, CI CD pipelines, continuous delivery, writing automation code. But how do you fundamentally debug availability and performance issues is at the core of knowledge and I think that's where there hasn't been enough uh, there hasn't been enough uh, specialization or focus of training to get into that this is not very difficult though because at the core a software still runs on an operating system which still runs on a piece of hardware the operating system is more proficient the hardware is bigger faster and the software is more distributed but every piece of software is still running exactly the same way. And all we need to do is go back to our college days when we read operating systems, when we read how you write a little piece of assembly code and start going back to how are the fundamentals constructed. Because what has happened is with the specialization and need to build new and new capabilities, we have started losing the edge on that. Now, why do I say so? So I have been working and developing software applications for quite a while. I manage and lead software engineering teams and we, are, we operate software and I do find this gap, the gap of depth. And I think it's so basic that I just felt like we should have a training course on that. Why not help people learn it? Because it's not that hard if you really want to do it. So what I've done is uh, put a few training materials together that I'm going to put on YouTube. And I will see how this evolves because I'm not totally certain, but I know the breadth of what I want to uh, bring in together, the piece of knowledge, and then take it from there. Fundamentally, what are the goals that I have established? I do want us to better understand how software runs on a server, the process concepts and internals in the operating system, specifically Linux. How do you debug availability and performance issues better? And ultimately, how do you build more available and higher performing applications. So who would be interested in this? I think uh, the software engineers, especially the, the engineers who are in DevOps, the operations engineers, software engineering managers, leaders, maybe computer science students, especially if you have done a couple of years in college and now are in your third year and fourth year. But there's one prerequisite you need to like to have a deeper understanding of the fundamentals because a lot of what I try to learn and try to put in this training is the fundamentals and that is trying to understand depth and not being just superficial. So I have put what I consider a good learning pathway here and we will be discussing process centric details it's all about the process, the software, the application that you're running. So we get into the computer system, understand, then from there go to the operating system, understand scheduling, how does process scheduling happen, how do you get CPU time, and how much of it do you get? How do you use memory? How is memory managed for you for the process? I.O., networking, yeah, certain things on how do your processes get isolated better when they're running along with so many other processes on the same server. Uh, what happens when your processes are non-responsive? How do you build a performance-optimized code 
And how do you build highly available distributed systems from all of this together? So as we go through this, we'll have a very process-centric view rather than a depth view from coming from an angle. So it's all about how does the process in context of all these variables work. Now, what kind of materials and logistics uh, do I think I'll use? Primarily, I want it to be available. And so I chose YouTube, publish videos. Uh, along with that, put some code examples on GitHub. It's the time is you, you make things available for free and in open, and I want to use the social media platforms available to me. If you want to get to the next level, which I think is, is going to be helpful, if you really want to understand a little bit in, in a little bit more detail, uh, is get hands-on. Uh, get a small Linux VM with sudo root access. Uh, any home laptop, desktop with a Linux OS VM is good enough. You can have VirtualBox running on your Windows or Mac OS uh, desktop. Or you can get a small VM on a cloud provider. Whichever way you get a VM with sudo root access, you could go along and try some examples to writing code. So I'm very excited about bringing this together. And I'm calling it uh, application availability and performance management. Let us get under the hood. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something from it. And I hope that I, along with this, can improve how I bring all this together. And I, I appreciate your feedback. My Twitter handle, my LinkedIn is available for you to communicate back to me. And I hope for myself that I actually complete it because it is a pretty aggressive schedule. My job is not to teach, but I like to put things together. So I want to contribute back. Uh, and I hope that I will be able to find the time and go through this thing. I expect every week put more content, uh, get more advanced, and it probably will last three to four months. So it's, it is going to be a journey. And one more thing, how do you get access to the videos? Well, if you just subscribe to this channel, as I publish, I think you will get a notification. So subscribe to the channel and you will keep on getting a notification as I push the videos. Probably, uh, hopefully, it should be every week. Okay, 